everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. Now, you'll notice that we have a ton of stuff on the screen. You're like, Brett, how in the absolute hell are we supposed to get through all of these fix-ups and customs in the next 12 to 10 minutes or whatever the hell appointment's trying to go? Well, Brett, I'm about to explain that to you. As you guys know, usually when we get a new Elite set, Elite Series 76 is the brand new series. We waited on it, we got it in, and usually we do the reviews and then we do a surgery video where we fix them up, kind of tweak them a little bit, make them a little bit better, fix maybe what Mattel kind of messed up on it or what's something that I would like to change about the figures. And today was supposed to be that surgery day. However, I feel like the series doesn't have a whole lot to change up and I'll get into that right now so you guys can absolutely understand what I'm coming from and why I do believe that. So if we zoom out a little bit, you guys can see Lacey Evans, John Cena, Heavy Machinery, and Braun Strowman right here. I mean, what would you fix about this Lacey Evans? You know, what what is fixable about this Lacey Evans? I feel like the Lacey Evans figure is pretty much perfect head to toe. You could switch out the knee pads. I don't think I have smaller women's knee pads right now, so it's not really something that I want to fix right now. Lacey Evans is pretty much in the clear. I don't know what I would change to make it better. We don't have a basic to switch the head sculpt out or anything like that, and I just don't see anything that we need to fix. If we come over to Braun Strowman, guys, we got Braun Strowman right here. I really like the pissed off head sculpt on this body, and you guys know we are getting the top talents elite with the screaming head sculpt on this figure. So I'm not going to remove this head sculpt, put the screaming head sculpt on when we're about to get that figure anyways. And I do not know what I want to do about these boots right here. We are going to fix up that belt, but I did not feel like I wanted to put that in a surgery video for today. We are going to do that. I just did not know what to do for it right now. So we are going to wait on that one and we are going to fix up that belt. Now, if we come into heavy machinery, I thought long and hard about what I wanted to do with these guys. And Tucker's pretty much what he is. You know, he's kind of like Lacey Evans. There's really not much you could do to fix him up if you even wanted to. We don't have a battle pack of these guys. We don't have a basic to switch out the head sculpt because a lot of people feel like this just looks like Big Show. And I kind of feel like that too. I feel like it looks just like Big Show. What the hell are we going to change about this Tucker? And then finally we have Otis and I ran through the course. You know, I thought about it long and hard because you guys know I did talk about the arms on it and I was like, you know, maybe the arms could be switched out because they use Brock Lesnar arms. But when I ran it through the gauntlet, I looked at all the options we could use. I still didn't like any of the options that we had. I feel like these are the best arms. They're short enough. You know, any other smaller arms like uh, Samoa Joe or anybody like that, Big Show arms that may be a little bit fattier, chunkier, not as muscular or as defined, they're too long. And, they, you know, Otis has pretty short arms. So I do want to leave him the way he is, and maybe we can figure out something later on. But for now, we are going to stick to these figures right here, and we're going to get into this action figure surgery right quick. And I think it's still going to be a pretty epic swap. We're going to use the Elite 76 John Cena because I feel like I can do some swaps with him. And then I'm going to update this Ricochet custom right here on the left, the one that's like the pink fantasy attire that Mac decals that I got from him. Absolute beast. We're going to do a cool little fix up with him today and I'm super excited to do so. So today guys, let's go ahead and dive into the swaps we're going to be getting into. And I also have a, let me, let me grab something real quick so I guys can show you this and run it by you. So the other day I was thinking, I have this extra Elite 74 Finn Balor with the white kick pads and the white lower legs. And then I have this Elite 70 Finn Balor with the two-pack Elite AJ Styles Finn Balor TLC head sculpt on it on an Elite 70 body. And I'm thinking about painting all the black on this paint white and then painting the teeth black and then switching out the kick pads and lower legs with these over here and seeing what that would look like. I really don't know. I'm not you know, it just kind of popped in my skull. I have an extra Elite 70 but I didn't really care for the head sculpt. I, you know we, we fixed it on action figure surgery. We fixed them up a little bit. I left that one on the shelf but I had this extra one where I took off the Elite 70 and repainted it in skin tone. So so now I'm trying to figure out a couple Finn Balor fix-ups that I want to do, and I wanted to run that by you guys and see what you guys thought. So should I do the inverted like white and black demon with these white kick pads? I haven't done a Finn Balor custom in a long time, so I feel like it would be pretty badassery, but let me know what you guys think down below. But besides that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what we're going to do here today on Action Figure Appointment, because it's actually relatively simple. It's not anything insanity. We are going to be switching out. Now, stand by me right here. I think this would look really badass. You guys know that we do have these white ricochet boots. I think switching out the boots for these Bret Hart boots would be freaking sick nasty. You have the pink details, you have the black, it would feed into the pink and black and white over here. I kind of wish that this Ricochet logo was black, but you know what? I actually, I could actually paint over that, I guess, if it really bothered me that bad. But I think if we switch these boots over here, he'd have toe pivot right there, and not only that, but I could also acetone off these stars if I didn't want the stars on there. I don't know if I'm going to leave the stars for now, or if I'm going to acetone those off already, but I did plan on acetoning them off, but I think these boots 
over here would actually be pretty sweet. And then the other swap that we're going to be doing is creating a Super Showdown John Cena. And how we're going to do that is our extra Elite 70, Elite 71 John Cena. I always forget if this is 70 or 71. We're going to take the Elite 76 and we are going to pop off the arms off of this guy, put them over here, and then switch out the armband as well. And then we are also going to switch out the shoes from this Cena back here to give him the black and white shoes because of Super Showdown, he didn't rock these shoes. He had like some black and white sneakers on and they're actually, they kind of look like the Ghostbusters Elite shoes. If you guys remember those from that John Cena figure, that's what they really look like, but I don't have an extra. I don't want to mess up my fix up. So I am going to go with these uh, random black and white sneakers for this John Cena. Put them over here and also put the arms over there and his belt's not supposed to be blue, but I'm just going to get over that for now because this is kind of pretty much what his hair looked like and I feel like that would be pretty freaking sweet. So after that, we are going to, and after that, we will have this John Cena that will basically be broken down. We can fix him up at a later date and I'll probably end up getting another Elite 76 Cena down the line to have the moment and I'll probably get a, a jersey and a hat that is actually completely accurate to that moment so that I can put it up on the Cena shelf with the rest of the John Cena collection. But now that we've dived into all of that, guys, let's shut the hell up, get into our surgery and see what these swaps are all about. And actually, now that I think about it, we may go ahead and switch out these Finn Balor kick pads just to see what it looks like before we even paint it because I could always switch it back if I wanted to and it'll add another swap to us and see what it looks like before we even paint anything. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first order of business, guys, is going to be getting this shish out of our freaking way, pushing back all of this, getting everything out of my face so that I can get in my work area, get my ish done and get it going. So we're going to move the arms up of the ricochet, put the boots in the way here. We're going to put these boots down here as well. Now I'm a big, you know, I like Bret Hart and everything, but I feel like these boots will look better on this ricochet and I think it will be a really sweet fix up. So I kind of want to see what that looks like. On top of that, I guess I'm going to go ahead and switch out the Cena shoes because this should be a relatively easy swap. Heat up these shoes, get that going. And then the second swap that we'll do will be the Finn Balor kick pads and the arms of the Cena's that way, you know, because we're going to have to turn this guy upside down on his head. So we got all the shoes stacked on top of each other. I got the white trusty hair dryer in the house and we're about to heat this hoe up, get these switches going and uh, see what we can get. Slight adjustment. All right, guys, let's get it going. Let's see what we can get going. I hope I don't burn my face off like you guys know. All right, so we got that. I just noticed this This Cena has gray socks on. That's pretty interesting. So removing that, going over here, removing the Cena shoes from this figure, we're going to pop these shoes, the black and white ones over here. Shouldn't be a hard thing to do. Sometimes these Cena shoes can be tricky. I've actually had a lot of you guys hit me up and ask you how you do it, but the only thing I can recommend is making sure to get enough heat on them. That is the key to getting those Cena shoes off. So if you guys were wondering, that is the biggest part of doing that. If you want to do that well, you got to get enough heat applied. There is the one ultimate boot. There's the ultimate boot on the other side, switching off these Ricochet I really don't want to damage the paint here or anything like that. This one really isn't as hot as I would have liked it to been, so that kind of pisses me off. This one also, God in heaven. All right, we got the one ricochet boot. You guys can kind of see that paint chipping off a little bit there, which isn't a huge deal because we're about to just pop the, uh, the Bret Hart boots right back on there. So we're going to just go ahead and do this, and we'll take a look at ricochet at the end of it. One boot a Bret Hart. I don't know why that's being a hobo and not wanting to go on there, to be honest with you, because the Ultimate Boots do fit the regular Elites. Alright, I did get the Bret Hart Boots on the Ricochet. We'll take a closer look at that at the end. So far, this is what we got. I don't know if he painted... I think these are just regular white boots and he painted the trim on there, so that's pretty interesting right there. Those will go on the fodder box. Uh, Bret Hart, I actually have some Bret Hart Boots in my fodder box, but they're all beat to hell. That's why I didn't want to put them on the Ricochet, so I'll probably put them on the Bret Hart just because, you know, I don't want my my Bret Hart to be to be freaking bootless. This is the only Bret Hart I have because every other one I've always traded for ish. So I want to keep that Ultimate Edition in the collection. So next what we're going to do guys is we are going to heat up. Now we are going to remove these bicep bands just like the Cena back here. You want to remove those bicep bands because just like any entrance jacket or vest that we've discussed here in the past guys, anything like that you want to get it out of the way of the hair dryer because it will F it up man. You don't want to do that. We also want to get these Word Life brass knucks off and any Cena fodder that's laying around I do have a baggie designated to hold my Cena fodder so I don't get into any football trouble or anything like that and uh, we are going to remove the baby 
Ruth jersey right here. Get this off of here. Put this over there. Go ahead and remove the jersey. And we are going to remove the armband because we don't want that again to get in that heat. It'll tear it and stuff. So we're going to put this over here. And we are going to push the arms up like this. And we are going to heat up both of these hoes just like that. And hopefully we don't have any problems. But there is that. We're going to get that going. And then we're also going to be heating up the lower legs of the Finn Balor because I do want to get this switch going. Actually, this figure is actually really cheap. I think I named this the best figure of the year in 2019 and it is literally like $15 on Amazon or something like that so pretty epic sauce. Anyways coming over here pushing up the demon arms and then getting the knees ready to go. Alright guys let's go ahead and hit it and get this swap going here on action figure appointment. What kind of weak ass sauce is that? You guys said you gotta get it going. You gotta heat that hoe up. You gotta get it high. High heat. Alright guys, let's get it going here. Uh, probably need to start off with the lower legs of the Finn Balor because I feel like that will probably be the tougher of the two swaps. And beings as if this freaking lower leg right here didn't even get heat on it somehow. And this one didn't either. My God, how's that even possible? All right, we got the one lower leg, but we did not get the other one. And I got to remove the peg. That's that's a piece of ish right there. That didn't even get heated up. Over here, though, the white one actually did get heated up, though. So that's actually pretty brilliant. Love that. Love to see that. Never not love nit nini new not to see that. All right, got the other Finn Balor. The other Finn Balor can make for some cool switches as well. So that is pretty wicked. Um, the other arms, I knew arms wouldn't be a big deal, so that's why, you know, I, I figured this would be relatively similar to, uh, you know, any other arm swap. Like, arm swaps are pretty easy. All you gotta do is get, like, a decent amount of heat on it, except for this one. This one was supposedly in the way of the damn thing and didn't get heated up, I think. No, actually, it was on the far side, you stupid jackass. God in heaven. All right, got the other arm off. Now we're gonna come over here, pop the Super Showdown arms onto our Elite 7071. Again, can't remember if it's 70 or 71. I wanna say it's 71, and now that I'm thinking about it, I think it is 71. So now we're gonna take this and we're going to pop our bicep band on there and while a bushka bam there is our fix up right there that looks pretty damn good we'll take a closer look at him at the end and now we're coming over to our finn balor we got to pop off this other lower leg by god and that's being a hobo so we got that off we got the lower leg taking the peg out now we got to come over here and we got to pop in the pegs to the lower legs and not only that but we also have to get the white lower legs onto this finn balor now obviously this guy's not going to be completely today we obviously have to get in there do all the paint work and stuff which I probably won't do on camera because that'll be a hoe man that will be definitely very difficult to do but you guys will obviously see the finished product on a different video I'll probably upload a new video showcasing the customs or something like that but trying to get these lower legs on here don't fail me Brad you know you got enough heat you lunatic fringe <laughs> All right, we got it. All right, so, so far, it doesn't even look that bad. Like, just with white kick pads alone, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, that's not even... You got a lot of something special going on there, young man. That's not bad right there. I don't I don't mind that at all. I do want to paint it up some, whether it be... I, like, I obviously have to fill in the head sculpt, because the head sculpt is paint chipped, but that's not bad right there. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. All right, guys, so I don't know if we're going to make the freaking time frame. You know, we try to get it 10 to 12 minutes here on Action Figure Appointment, but let's take a look at everything we've done here here today. Let's start off with Ricochet. I think this turned out pretty well. I like the pink. I think the pinks match. It is a little lighter, but I like the way the white and black breaks it all up. Let me know if I should acetone the star off. I feel like I should because it just looks like Bret Hart boots or whatever, but I like the way it looks and everything. There is a little bit of paint chipping right here on the pink. That's on me, obviously. You know that is on me. I can probably fix it, so I'm not too, too worried about it, and if I was going to pick fed with this thing or do anything with this thing, then it probably would have paint chipped a little bit anyway, so it's kind of, you know, inevitable. But I like the way Ricochet turned out. Let me know down below what you guys think about that. Our John Cena fix up turned out beautiful. I think it looks exactly how I wanted it to. I think that, you know, the, the Super Showdown attire looks great. I am going to end up getting a hat made and a shirt made unless they end up making it, which there aren't any plans. I haven't seen anything in the news or rumor mills or anything about a new John Cena featuring this attire. So moving forward, I'll probably end up painting it or doing something, get a custom shirt, getting a custom hat and everything. The only thing that sucks is the hat that is supposed to go 
go uh, on this figure doesn't fit, so I'll probably have to end up doing something different. Or, I mean, this new hat, the Elite 76 hat kind of fits a little bit, so maybe I could paint one of those up, because, I mean, that doesn't look too, too terrible. I don't know, Brad, not really feeling it. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out for sure. But there's our John Cena. I like the way that looks. I like the shoes and everything, and I think it works perfectly for a great fix-up. And then we have our Finn Balor Demon, which, of course, is lacking the paint that I want to add to it, but at the end of the day so far, before we add any paint, I still think it works. If you had the Elite 70 head sculpt on it or a head sculpt that wasn't paint chipping, you know, supposed to be, you know, mid-match or whatever, I think this would still be sick, and I think when the Demon returns finally, I think it'd be cool to do white kick pads with one of his Demon attires. I think that'd be pretty sick, but that is going to do it for Action Figure Appointment, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I enjoyed it. I thought the fix-ups we did here today were successful, and I enjoyed it, guys, so let me know what you think of the swaps down below. If you have any cool fix-up ideas for Elite 76, let me know down in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.